Hi, in this video we will talk about uh, another selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor medication called Paxil. Brand name is Paxil, generic name is Paroxetine. It helps with depression. It also helps with generalized anxiety disorder. People also use in people who have social anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder. Um, it is readily available as it is uh, a generic medication so it's pretty cheap a lot of places you can buy it even for four dollars a month as it is a selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor so it works on serotonin receptors most of the people in my experience I have seen take it at night time this medication there are some people who take it during the daytime also the reason of taking it at night time as I have seen more people develop some sedation with it or tiredness when they start taking this medication. So that's why people prefer to take it at night time. There are some people who have problems with sleep when they take it at night time. So those people take it during the morning time also. But majority of the people that I have started those this medication, I usually ask them to start it at night time. Paroxetine also comes in regular paroxetine, also comes in uh, a, 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 delayed a delayed release paroxetine called Paxil CR. Um, most of the insurances cover Paxil CR. There are some insurance who still don't cover Paxil CR. Usually Paxil is being taken once a day. If someone start Paxil or they have nausea, stomach upset or too much constipation or diarrhea, then I usually recommend trying to consider switching it to a long acting or control release uh, Paxil, the Paxil CR, which is usually better tolerated than the regular Paxil. And that is one of the main reason out of other uh, few reasons that people take extended release or control release because control release is, is spread in your system gradually so people do see some smooth uh, effect and they don't see a lot of up and down mood problem with control release not to say that regular Paxil have that side effects I have not seen it but they are some medication when they are being really used in extended release form or control release form people tolerate it better but if you start noticing that you know um, later in the afternoon you are having problems with your mood so then consider either increasing the dose of the Paxil or talk to your provider to maybe switching it to Paxil control release it comes uh, in um, uh, it, it comes in uh, different forms uh, usually people take the medication between 10 to 50 milligram it's always better to start at a low dose and then gradually go up on that medication I have seen most of the people do okay with 20 to 40 milligram but as I, rec I recommend people just try to be on a less dose as possible and see if that less dose is effective for you. Usually it takes four to six weeks for the maximum effect. People start noticing some effects within a week or two weeks time but the maximum effect takes four to six weeks. If you start having any side effects usually it goes away. The other option is cut down the medication or splitting the dose of the medication or try to take something for the side effects. So let's talk about the side effects. 18% of the people will complain of headaches but it goes away. 15% of the population can have tiredness. 23% of the population does have sleepiness but that sleepiness usually goes away and that's why if you have sleepiness take it at night time. 13% of people will complain about problems with sleep. So that's why I recommend those population to take it in the morning time. 26% of people complain of nausea. I usually don't see a lot of people complain of nausea, um, especially if you start at a low dose. So rec I recommend starting at a low dose, five or 10 milligram. Um, constipation uh, can happen because it can cause some sedation. 
um, and constipation. Diarrhea, I usually don't see diarrhea, especially if, if I start at a low dose, unless until I start a patient on a higher dose quickly, then they can have uh, some more side effect like diarrhea. Uh, dry mouth is one of the complaints. 18% uh, of the population can have dry mouth. I recommend biotin mouthwash or biotin gum or drinking a lot of fluids. 13% of the population has ejaculation problem. People with SSRIs and with most of the antidepressants can have problems with, their sex with sexual side effects. Either they have less desire to be intimate or they have a hard time reaching orgasm or they have a hard time ejaculation. Paxil is one of the medication that people also use for people who have ejaculation disorder, like people who um, have ejaculation too quickly. So sometimes people who even don't have any symptoms of depression take Paxil uh, to counteract that ejaculation problem that they are suffering or premature ejaculation. Um, so talk to your doctor um, uh, about it if you have any of those uh, symptoms. What's the uniqueness about Paxil? One thing is Paxil in my experience help with sedation especially people who have problems with sleep i usually start them at night time it, it does help with the sedation people who have a lot of anxiety and depression i have used paxil and in my experience it, it, it's a good medication for that uh, population um, what are the disadvantages that I see with Paxil? One is weight gain. People can have weight gain with Paxil. Not everyone. So keep an eye on your weight. If you start noticing that your appetite is going up, if you are craving for sugar, so uh, talk to your doctor about it. But try to eat healthy. Try to have balanced diet, eat more vegetables, uh, more fibers. The other thing is Paxil does interact with other medications quite a bit. So if you have other medical problems or if you are on other medication, talk to your doctor about checking the interactions because Paxil can interact uh, with other medication and can either increase or decrease the, uh, uh, the, um, the level of the other medication. The other thing is Paxil uh, can have withdrawal symptoms. It's not an addicting medication. It's just like how it is. So if you skip a dose or two of that medication and if you are taking it for a longer period of time, it can cause withdrawal symptoms like serotonin withdrawal symptoms. Like you can have restlessness, nausea, you might start crying, you have kind of electrical sensation in your body, kind of flu-like symptoms. So consider when you are taking Paxil to make sure that you are taking it on a regular basis. If you feel, hey, I'm a, uh, that kind of person, I forget to take medication sometimes, so either put an alarm or don't take this medication or try some other medication. Um, also, uh, tapering down Paxil will take a longer time. So talk to your doctor that they, he or she has to do a very gradual taper uh, if you are on Paxil. Sometimes people even add another medication once they are tapering this medication because tapering takes a while and sometimes uh, people add another medication just for a short period of time even medication like Prozac for a short period of time and then once the tapering down complete then Prozac can be uh, stopped e uh, fairly easily as compared to Peroxetine. So overall it's a good medication but with any um, medication any depression medication make sure that you don't have any um, suicidal thoughts when you have started taking medication if you do please talk to your doctor about it thank you very much for watching